Hello. If you've heard of the SOLIDWORKS PCB connector, then you're probably aware of the collaborative functionality that it provides to allow PCB board designers to communicate more efficiently with their mechanical counterparts. It also allows these designers to share CAD data back and forth between themselves for ease of CAD manipulation. If you're interested in learning more about this tool, then please click on the link that is shown. The intention of this video is to demonstrate to those who just purchased the SOLIDWORKS PCB connector how to install the software and get it up and running. So let's get started. So you already have Ultium Designer installed. The first piece of the puzzle here is to download and install the SOLIDWORKS PCB services. This is a set of IIS services, internet information services that manages the data that you or your colleagues throw inside your vault. This is a server-based application. And what I mean by that is that this tool will communicate with multiple client machines in your organization. And so for organizations with really more than one user, it is wise and advisable to download and install the SOLIDWORKS PCB services on a server, a server that you or your colleagues can connect to and communicate to at all times. For a single user who has both Altium Designer and SOLIDWORKS on the same machine, and uh, really is uh, the sole user in this organization, then for that user, it would make sense to download and install the SOLIDWORKS PC PCB services on that sole machine. Before downloading, let's take a look at the system requirements. Please note that the OS requirements include Windows Server 2008 R2, Windows Server 2012 R2, and Windows 7. Also note the RAM requirements and the minimum system requirements, including the disk space. Now that we've met the system requirements, let's head to the SOLIDWORKS customer portal to download SOLIDWORKS PCB services. We're going to sign in. After signing in, we'll go to the download section and we'll go to Downloads and Updates. Here we will go ahead and download the SOLIDWORKS Installation Manager. This should be listed as the latest service pack. We'll choose English. Accept and continue. And if your download doesn't begin right away, make sure to click on the Download button. and unzip that. And you notice that the SOLIDWORKS 2017 Service Pack 2 Installation Manager opens right away. In this window, Note server products. This is where we'll be clicking. And note all the way at the bottom, install SOLIDWORKS PCB services on this computer. We'll check that and click next. In this window, I do not recommend changing any of the installation locations or the database folder location, revision file folder location, or the port number. I recommend that you leave these as the default set. We can, however, explore the download options. Here I have it set to download and install with the location of the download. And we can change that by clicking on change. We can change that to download only or install only. And we have more options at the bottom. Let's go back to summary. We'll accept the terms of SOLIDWORKS and download and install. Now that the installation is complete, let's make sure that the online interface of the tool is active and running. So I'll click finish and we'll close that off. Notice that I'm typing localhost colon 9780 and this is to indicate that the SOLIDWORKS PCB services has been installed on my local machine. If I wanted to access uh, the online interface of the tool from a client-based uh, machine or from another machine other than the server machine, then I would be typing the server address colon 9780. If I wanted to access the online interface on the same machine as the server, 
then again I would be using localhost 9780 all right here we'll sign in with admin as the username for the password it will also be admin so it seems like everything has been installed successfully and SolidWorks PCB services is active in the users tab we can configure users and add users we can also change and configure our passwords and usernames let's sign out the final piece of the puzzle now is to install the SolidWorks PCB connector plugin within Altium Designer this is the plugin that will allow you to push and pull CAD data from and to the SolidWorks PCB services Okay, so within Altium Designer, we'll go to DXP, Extensions and Updates. In the Purchase tab, we'll scroll downwards and search for SolidWorks. And here it is. Just click on Download. Keep in mind that if you have installed uh, Altium Designer from an offline software installation, to make sure that you are pointing to that uh, installation folder. Here we'll click yes. At this point it would make sense to keep the SOLIDWORKS PCB connector serial number handy. This number would have been provided to you by your account manager. Click register. After registering you'd want to restart Altium Designer. After restarting Altium we can head to DXP, extensions and updates. In the Install tab, if we scroll downwards, we should be able to see SOLIDWORKS PCB Connector. So now we know that we've installed the plugin successfully. Let's go to the XP again and sign into Altium Vault. We'll type in the server address. Username will be admin again, and the password will be admin, unless you've changed it, of course. Login. We'll then go to File, Open Managed Project and we'll open one of my managed projects. If we head to the PCB document, and then to use the SOLIDWORKS PCB connector plugin, we'll go to PCB, SOLIDWORKS PCB connector. Upon the first push or pull, we should get a message saying that an active license for SOLIDWORKS PCB connector is required to use this function, or you will get a notification to activate your license. To do so, we'll go to help, SOLIDWORKS PCB Connector Licensing, Activate License, type in your email address, click Next. Activation succeeded, we'll click Finish, and we'll commit a first push. Visiting that help menu again, we can configure a lot more options for the license. So we can activate licenses, deactivate licenses, or show license information. And this concludes our standalone license installation for the SOLIDWORKS PCB connector. For those clients who are uh, accustomed to using a network license, to be able to share their license between multiple machines, well, you should be happy to know that this capability is available in SOLIDWORKS PCB connector as well. And we'll get started with that in the second part of this video. Now we'll install the Network License Manager, and this installation should be conducted on your server machine, which will host the license files for the multiple users that will connect to that server. We'll go to the Installation Manager. Go to Server Products. Install Solid Network License Manager. We'll click on Next. Here you'll be prompted to enter your serial number. I've already entered mine. And you can review the, the download options. So here I have install only, do not download. And that's perfect. Okay, so now we've completed the installation. Click finish. And we'll start the license manager. Go to SOLIDWORKS tools. Solid Network License Manager. 
it will be prompted to activate your serial number. Make sure to um, configure the options for your uh, license server, whether there's a firewall running on your machine, also note down the computer name used and the port number. Click next, leave everything as default. Enter your email address and click next. Activation succeeded. Click finish. Now you'll see that the network uh, license manager will start up showing the licenses that have been added to it and the number of user users using it let's click OK and then restart Altium we'll sign into that vault And we'll go again to DXP extensions and updates to re-download that uh, SOLIDWORKS PCB connector plugin. It should be in the purchase tab. Scroll all the way down. Right here. Click on download. And again, you'll be requested now to enter that serial number once more. This time, however, you'll enter your network serial number as we've entered it in the network license manager as well. Click continue. It will recognize that it's a network license and will request the port number as well as the server name that the network license manager is being hosted on. Click register and then restart Altium. Go back into our PCB document. And let's open up the SOLIDWORKS PCB connector. Let's try to do a push. And as you can see, we're able to successfully um, post. Again, if you want to review the license information, you'll go to help. SOLIDWORKS PCB connector licensing. If you wanted to check the Solid Network license manager to see if we are in fact using a license, We'll go to, we'll open up the manager, go to SOLIDWORKS tools, and we'll go to license usage, and you'll see that the total licenses is one, free licenses is zero as I am using it. And this concludes our installation process for the SOLIDWORKS PCB connector. I've demonstrated two methods of installing this tool, one with a standalone serial number, and the other with a network uh, serial number. I hope you've benefited from this, and thank you for tuning in.